Fuck you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Ryan here. Hope you guys are doing okay. Today we're going to be reacting to Only Friends episode number 8. But before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss my next video. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and start. Save me. From who? Or from what? I have so many questions. Like, what is happening? Ray, what are you doing? But Mew looks like he's having a lot of fun. They do look like they're having a lot of fun. What are you thinking, Chum? Gosh. I don't know. She looks so confused. Mm. Oh. Oh, yeah. I know, right? She's such a good friend. True, true. They're so good to each other. I love that they were able to resolve their issue really quickly last episode. I loved it. I forgot he was watching. What is Ray doing? I feel so bad for him. And there he goes, acting like nothing's happened. Like he can't be that naive, right? Like he, he has to know how Stan feels about him. Poor Stan. Obviously. Hmm. Oh my gosh. อืมแล้วสองคนไม่ไม่มีอะไรเหมือนกันเลยเว้ยเฮ้ยอย่าอืมแล้วตอนอยู่กับมึงอ่ะกูคงมีความสุขเลยนะเว้ย
Make up your mind. She's been there before. She didn't want to get burned again, but Plug looks really serious about her. That's really sad. What are you doing to him? You are not a good influence. No, it is not. I need top back. I need top back.
จะยุ่งไปด้วยอ่ะเราอยากลองอยากลองไม่ได้ว่าหรอกแต่ลองติดแล้วกันก็เป็นห่วงทำไมอ่ะเราจะติดไม่ติดกับเรื่องของเราปะชีวิตเราอ่ะแล้วตอนนี้ต้องมีความสุขดีอยู่แล้วด้วยโอเคแน่ใจอ่ะต้องลงจะเลือกอะไรจริงใช่ไหมทำไมอ่ะมีปัญหาอะไรปะแล้วเลวที่ตรงไหนเหรออย่างน้อยมันก็ไม่เคยโกงของเราแล้วมันก็รักเราจริงๆถ้ามันรักเราจริงนะคงไม่พาดำเนินเรื่องไม่ดีแค่สูบบุหรี่นะแล้วไม่ดีแล้วอีกอย่างนะไอ้คนที่รักเราจริงเนี่ยมันต้องทำแบบชอบใช่ปะExactly. I'm so annoyed with Ray right now. Why don't you ask me? He already said he didn't want to be friends with you. Right. Mm -hmm. It, exactly. Exactly. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't. Don't use the orphans. You're busy. I have no more patience for Ray. I'm really annoyed right now. Stop, Sand. No. I mean. She feels the same. ไม่ได้กลับมาคืนดีกับเราก็ไม่เป็นไรไว้แต่ว่าเราไม่อยากเห็นมิวพังของเรา
Coffee's so good. I love her lips. Lip tint is life. Ooh, who is this? Who is he? No, he said yes already. Oh, perfect for you. Right. I'm all alone. <laughs> You are not old. How about you guys? Oh. Is that? this there's so many new people Say no more. 
。Right。That sounds fun. Everyone's invited. Even him. This looks fun. Where's top? What the f are you doing, Ray? Don't do it. Yeah, that was a mistake. What do you think he's doing to you right now? Exposing you to drugs. Oh God, he knows exactly what. Oh, because he used to smoke. You. That's f***ed up. <laughs> You're gonna regret that.
งานกูอ่ะไม่ต้องรับประโยชน์มึงหรอกไม่ต้องกูชวนมาเองอ่ะอืมกูมีสิทธิ์ไหมเดี๋ยวกูไม่ใช่เจ้าของกูเลยชวนไม่ได้เราสองคนกันกูไม่อยากเขาเสียบรรยากาศผมมึงอย่าไม่ยุ่งกับมิวก็พอทิ้งผ่านเราโหดครับข้าเมลครับ Ray you're a fucking ass and I hate you ถ้ามึงเล็กยาวเนี่ยมันเชียวหรอวะมึงมีกระป๋องคิดบ้างวะเนี่ยโอ้ยเชื่อแต่ตึงนี่มึงไม่เห็นเหรอเขาสนุกกันนะ I am so mad at Ray right now ฮะมึงรอเรื่องมึงเราขับไปเนี่ยถ้ามึงโดนจับเขาโกงแน่เลยโอ้ยเชื่อมอย่าปวดมากนี้เป็นแม่กูเหรอแต่แม่กูตายเลยโอ้ Nick look so cute มึงจะมาทำไมวะกูไม่เข้าใจกูไม่ได้อยากมาเลยก็ไอ้ตาไม่คุยกับกูอะมึงมองคนทางด้วยโอเคกูเลยอยากมาเจอที่นี่อะมึงได้แม่งเตอชิบหายแม่บอกว่าจะพากันมูฟอนที่มึงทำเนี่ยเขาเรียกมูฟอนเป็นวงกลมด้วยเส้นเนี่ยเส้นยูทรายผมว่าฟิลิปเมคเคอรี่คือนักร้องที่เสียงดีสุดในโลกเลยนะผมว่าจริงอ่ะเหมือนกันถ้ามันจะไปลองบท
ใช่ครับผมก็เหมือนกันครับวัตถุ no get out No. Ray is so fucking selfish. I am livid. You just cock block him, you f***ing sick. That's not how it works. I want to sock him in the mother face right about fucking now. What the f Yes, it happens. Right. Huh? That's your brother? <gasps> Oh, 
อยู่ในโปรเจกต์นี้กูมีสิทธิ์มาแล้วนี่อะไรกูไม่ได้มาขัดจังหวะอะไรใช่ปะมึงกานะก็มาเอากันที่นี่เลยเหรอตามสบายพ่อมึงควรจะว่าไหมหรือมึงจะเอาตรงนี้เลยอ่ะใครพวกมึงมันจะเอากันอ่ะไอ้พวกเฮียที่มันไม่อายอยู่แล้วเอาดิSad. Hmm. Uh oh. You're still looking up for him, huh? No, let him rot in jail.
Damn. Damn. No, don't bail him out, dude. Let him pay for that. No. Right. So what happened? So he was able to bribe them? time he gets to do that. Top is so sweet. <laughs> Time to go, Nick. Time to go, you did your best. Move on. I love their relationship, Chum and April.
This is a sad episode. How do you recover from here? Oh. You're gonna regret that. Oh. Oh. Oh gosh. Huh? What the? F Finally, tell him how you really feel. Ray and San, I need you to make up your minds. Ray, you need to get your act together. And San, how many more of this can you take? I'm so annoyed right now. Oh my god, Ray really pissed me off here. I mean, he was already annoying me, but I have really had had it here with him. I understand that life hasn't necessarily been easy for him, even though, you know, they have, they're pretty well off his family, but obviously money doesn't buy everything. So I get that, but he was a total jerk here. At first, I thought he was just oblivious of how Stan feels about him, but then later in the episode, he actually admitted that he knew that Stan likes him, and yet he continues to be inconsiderate of Stan's feelings. Obviously now he's spending more time with Mew because Mew has now reconsidered him But then he'd go back to Sand and would tell Sand how happy he is when he's with him Like, what? Make up your mind I'm glad that Sand told him, you know, f*** that I'm not gonna be somebody's second option And don't you forget that Because Ray just wants it all He just doesn't really care too much about how his actions are affecting his friends The sense of entitlement that Ray has is so frustrating when he cock-blocked Sand and interjected himself, proceeded to telling Sand that he somehow owns him and that he can never walk away from him. It doesn't work like that. Are you okay? I wanted to bop him in the head and just wake him up. I'm like, where do you think you are? This is reality. You can't just take all of it and not face any type of consequences for the behaviors that you're doing. And of course, once again, in spite of everything that Ray has said and done to Sand, Sand continues to look out for Ray. Sand even risks his own freedom, essentially trying to protect Ray. I wouldn't have gotten in between the cops and Ray, especially when there's drugs involved. No, you're not about to drag me into that stuff. I have enough drama going on in my life that that's the last thing I need. You're not gonna get me involved in something that's gonna result in me getting in trouble with the authorities. No ma'am, that's not happening. Honestly, Honestly, I was a little disappointed in San for trying to cover for Ray. Even if I like Ray, I wouldn't do that. All it does is enable Ray to continue doing what he's doing, which is very dangerous and it's not really teaching him a lesson. And somebody needs to teach Ray a lesson because again, what he's doing is very irresponsible and extremely dangerous. And getting Mew involved in that type of activity, exposing him to drugs, just did it for me. I, at that point, I was just way over Ray. Somebody take him away because I can't, I couldn't deal with him anymore. And to me, that's not love. You know, that's some bullshit. I don't buy that Ray understands fully when he says that he loves Mew because you wouldn't do that to somebody that you love, right? So, I don't know, Ray is all kinds of messed up. I'm very surprised that Sand is still willing to even see him. I mean, it looks like in the next episode, they're gonna spend more time together. At this point, I really don't understand what Sand sees in Ray. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm sure Ray has some good qualities, but I just think that the bad ones just far outweigh the goods. 
in my opinion. Ray, right now at this moment, is a liability. I wouldn't want to be with somebody like that. He's just too volatile. He's just too chaotic. I don't need that in my life. I want some type of order and Ray is the complete opposite of order. But I am glad that Sand and Nick seem to be okay. In spite of everything that happened between the two of them, they seem to have moved past that and remained friends, which is good. I really felt bad for Nick here because he seems like he's still not ready to move on from Boston. I'm hoping that he has seen and heard enough. It's not like he didn't try, you know, in this episode, he even tried to talk to him about Boston. Seems still pretty upset about what happened, which I understand, and he wasn't willing to talk to him, which is fine. I hope that that is enough for Nick to realize, okay, maybe it's time for me to go. It's time for me to move on. And I'm hoping that this new job opportunity is gonna help him do just that. Keep his mind off of Boston and focus on other things like his professional career, using his skills to do good things as opposed to, you know, spying on people. But it seems like his soon-to-be boss is also interested not only in his professional skills but it seems like he's also interested in Nick so I don't know if that's a good thing I don't know if that's gonna further complicate the situation but nevertheless I'm hoping that it will help Nick at least move on from Boston because his obsession with Boston is unhealthy and for Boston I don't really have a lot to say about him I guess I just think he needs to go away for a while. He doesn't really care too much about anything. He's just kind of there, you know? I was a little surprised though that he initially turned down Chum's brother because he didn't want Chum to get on his case. So I guess I'll give him credit there for at least trying to stay out of trouble. But Boston turned out to be too difficult for Chum's brother to resist. So I guess we'll just let Chum's brother see it for himself. I also felt bad for Chum here because she really seemed like she cares about every single one of her friends. And she really didn't want her group to break up. But there's just way too many moving parts in their circle of friends. And it's just too much for just one person to handle. And and Mr. Mew, he actually got me mad a little bit here. He was so mean to Top. I mean, I know he's hurt. I know Top messed up, but gosh, like, did he really have to do all of that? Humiliated Top in front of everyone. Then again, I understand that he's hurt for what Top did, so I can't fully blame him for doing that. But then at the same time, I don't know if all of that was necessary. But nonetheless, I still felt really bad for Top. <laughs> I am very impressed with Top though because he seems very determined to fulfill what he told Mew when he said that he was gonna make him fall in love with him again. At this point, I am rooting for Top. He seems very genuine about his intentions and I hope that Top does not let me down because at this point, again, I am rooting for him. And Top's sad face, <sighs> got me so weak. I mean, how can you say no to that? He just looks so sad. I think it's the eyebrows. I don't know. All kidding aside, I am rooting for Top and I hope that Mew gives him another chance. Don't let me down, Top. Although, I don't know if I necessarily agree with what I think he did at the end, bailing out Ray, I think bribing the cops, because again, going back to enabling Ray's behavior, that's not really teaching him anything. I don't know what Top's intention was behind that, because I know that Top and Ray aren't necessarily best friends, so I know he didn't bail him out because he cares about him, or maybe he did. I don't know. It's irresponsible of Ray to drive while under the influence and use drugs. Not only that, but also involving Mew and getting Mew exposed to it. Somebody needs to teach him a lesson, and I don't think, again, Top doing what I think he did is going to solve anything, unless, again, he's using that to get the upper hand against Ray to ultimately get Mew back. I don't know. So what did you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, thank you so much for being here and thank you for your time. Before you go, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss my next video. Until then, I will see you later.